Hey folks, Tim Miller here, and there's no more sacred place than your home, right? Well, let me tell you folks, we better know how to defend our homes. Watch this one. Knock at the door. Fortunately, there's a ring camera. Can I help you? CPD, we need to ask you a couple questions. Look at his right hand. I'm sorry? CPD, we need to ask you a couple questions. May you please step to the front door, please? CPD. Yes, this is CPD. We would like you to step to the door, please. Can I see a badge? We would like you to step to the door, please, sir. I don't have to show you my badge, sir. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Folks, I got to tell you, I've seen a lot of videos, and this one rocks me. I don't know if you noticed what was in his right hand, but it was a firearm. Now, obviously, he didn't fully understand that the ring doorbell was capturing his image. He was trying to bluff his way in. Now, fortunately, the homeowner had taken a precaution or two, and we're going to talk about that. But can you imagine in the world we live in with the home invasions that we're experiencing, if a knock at the door resulted in opening the door to see who it was? Folks, those days are gone. We will likely never see them again. Because here's the reality of what we just witnessed. That person was trying to make entry for who knows why, but he had a gun in his hand. So let's, like we always do, let's look at this situation through the eyes of before the incident, during the incident, and then after the incident. Let's talk before the incident. The homeowner had taken the precautions before the knock at the door ever came to install a ring camera. Why is that so important, folks? Because now, instead of hearing a knock, and in the old days we would open the door, you now can see who's at your door. Well, what does the subject say in this video? CPD, Chicago Police Department, open the door. Oh, by the way, he ain't a cop, and he's got a gun in his hand. So obviously, the homeowner is questioning, who are you? Rightfully. And quite frankly, folks, based on what you saw, he was doing the right thing because before the incident, he had put in a surveillance capability. But what else could he, should he have done before the incident? Well, let's say this had gone bad. Bad guy decides, eh, I'm not going to try to sweet talk my way in. I'm going to bust down that door. Well, folks, I got to tell you, I busted down a lot of doors in my career. And most of them open like that. So the question for you is, before an incident like that, do you have a reinforced door frame? Do you have a secondary locking device on your doors? I'm not talking about a little chain that somebody can kick. I'm talking about a real security secondary lock. They make things like poles you can extend. Just Google it on YouTube. But a secondary lock makes it much more difficult for someone to beat through. But again, that occurs before someone shows up your door like this. So before also, what do we want to have? Well, we want to have a home defense plan because the guy knocked on the door. The homeowner appropriately said, well, you know, hold on a second. And at, Quite frankly, folks, he should have been dialing 911 and saying, I think I have a home invasion in process. That should have been the severity of the call. Because, folks, remember, with a firearm, a round can go through a door, which is possibly why the subject was trying to get him to come to the door.
So beforehand, let's recap. We're going to put surveillance out there. We're going to reinforce the doors. We're going to make sure the windows around that front area are not easily accessible because all that person would have had to have done is run to a window and smash it. So what do we do then? Well, maybe we consider security film. Maybe we consider impact glass. But all of those things are designed to buy us time. So that's the before. Now let's talk about the incident that's happening right now. That guy standing outside of your door, he clearly is not a police officer. He's got a weapon in his hand. And I don't know if you noticed in the video, he's passing that weapon back and forth between his right and his left hand. Why might that be? It might be because he's realizing, hey, I'm on video because he's asking to see a badge and he's passing that weapon to his left hand where it might not be so visible. So during the incident, what are we doing if we're on the inside of that house? Well, the first thing we're doing is activating 911 and you're telling them that you have an armed person claiming to be a police officer on your front porch. You don't think he's a police officer. He's refusing to identify himself. He's not in a uniform. That's number one. Number two, you're going into your full-blown home defense plan, whatever that is. That may be you have created a safe room where you can go buy time. And by a safe room, I don't mean just a room that you lock a door in. I mean a reinforced door. I mean you've actually prepared a place where it would be difficult for someone to get to you. Maybe that's one of your options. Maybe another option is you have some kind of capability to defend yourself, whether it's a weapon, whether it's a, uh, a, a bear spray, pepper spray. The problem is with all that, it doesn't work well with a man standing outside with a handgun. Whatever your defense plan is, though, it better be realistic. It better be simple. And you better be able to act on it. Because as you can see, this situation can go very badly, very quickly. So now you've got time, you're executing your defense plan. Certainly, number one in this circumstance is going to be activating 911 so that the police are on the way. But then, if you have time, you may have to do other things. So that's during the incident. Now, what about after the incident? After the incident, we want to make sure that that doorbell cam photo or, or video is downloaded. If you don't know how to do that, that's something that you probably want to learn how to do so that you can quickly pass it to the police. I assure you, if this was a home invasion, he ain't stopping with just your house. He's moving on. But folks, I got to tell you, I've been doing this a long time. That guy uh, seemed to me to be there on a mission. Because if he was going to do a simple home invasion, it certainly didn't make sense what he was asking for, come to the door. If he was going to try to shoot somebody through the door, that would, make a, that would make sense to me. So before, during, and after, notice what the overall plan looks like. It's proactive. We're not going to wait for this to happen and then go, oh, man, what am I going to do now? We're going to take steps that enable us to be ready if this ever happens. Now, some other factors you're going to have to think about. If you have other family members, other kids, where would you take them? Why would you take them there? What's your plan to buy time if this guy starts trying to beat in the door and the door's not reinforced or he comes through a window? Why am I talking about all this? Because, folks, it's happening every day in our country. We need to be wise and prepared, not fearful and unprepared. Because here's the reality of this whole situation that you just witnessed. If that guy had, a, had you know, we only saw a portion of the video, had he wanted to come in, um, he likely could have found a way into the house. I do give the homeowner a lot of credit. Hey, yeah, uh, just give me a second. I'll be right there. Hopefully he's activating 911 or he's accessing his own weapons because the tactics inside of your house, if you have a weapon, 
should be masterful because you know your house. Somebody coming into your house to harm you doesn't. That should give you a tactical advantage from everything from cover to uh, concealment to ambush points to, and, and I know it sounds kind of like I'm talking about actually, you know, having a full on fight in your house. And folks, I got to tell you, if it's a choice between having someone in your house that's armed and can exercise their will on you and your family or having a measured, wise, prepared plan that would enable you to protect yourself and your family, I want option B. So let me just encourage you, this video is very troubling and yet, we didn't see anything that would cause us, you know, to 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 not sleep at night in terms of graphic violence or anything like that. But we did see something that should in the core of us go, uh oh, what is my home defense plan? How would I protect myself, my loved ones, if somebody forcibly tried to come in my house with a weapon? So I hope this is helpful to you. I hope this triggers your thinking. <laughs> In terms of, hey, that's something I really never thought about, wisdom, preparation, and hopefully great results in the event of a real problem. So, folks, I hope and pray this is helpful. Remember, um, I, I need you all to join um, the team of being protected and safe in today's world. We all need each other. Um, the purpose of the channel is to communicate good, solid, tested information that many of our team have spent decades developing. So we're not throwing stuff at you just as, you know, out of the air. We're throwing uh, hopefully some time and tested principles that will help you. Hey, do me a favor and like, share, subscribe. We need everybody to see this, uh, this information because Everybody needs it. Uh, everybody from the Hollywood elite um, to to the folks that are in, you know, very desperate situations in the inner city. Everybody's affected by the crime and and some of the evil that we're seeing going on. So my hope and prayer is that we can make a difference. Join us. Jump in. Comment. Uh, I know there are some very experienced guys and gals out here from the military and law enforcement. Please chime in. I always love to learn from you. Um, and I hope and pray that in this season that you're staying safe and that you're preparing because, folks, the storm is here. It's not offshore. It's here. We're facing things in our nation we've never faced before. So I hope this is helpful to you. Hope and pray that you stay safe and we'll see you next time.